All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Makah, Kadash. All right. Uh, double honors to my elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who were well. All right, that taught me this truth and many uh, many other brothers this truth. All right, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect out there, you brothers that's out there pushing this word. All right, staying diligent, staying in the spirit to your best of your ability, man. All right, and um, yeah, man, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. And uh, I just want to um, bring out a few scriptures, man. All right, uh, I ran into a picture and it, it jogged my memory. All right, just uh, it put me in the spirit and made me think about um, a lot of different scriptures. And uh, it, it basically, a, uh, it says, uh, a focus on the ongoing identity crisis of the American Negro. All right, because uh, you you blacks, you Hispanics, Native Americans, all right, starting with the head tribe, all right, Judah, all right, the Ju uh, Judites, all right, you Negroes, okay, you don't know who you are, all right, okay, this is going for, all right, you brothers, you sisters out there that don't know who you really are, all right, you've been called all type of, um, everything, everything outside of what you really are, everything out, uh, outside being an Israelite, being a Jew, you've been called. Okay, so this is a, it's a, a Negro, all right? All right, it's supposed to be a, um, a Judite, all right? Like a, um, a racist cartoon picture with the big lips. All right, probably some shit Esau put together. But um, dropping down from the 1600s, okay, all the way to the um, 2000s of what the, sh uh, the shit they call us, all right? Uh, savages, all right, uh, niggas, darkies, coons, spook, us. Yeah, yeah, uh, boy, all right, colored, all right, niggas, all right, blacks, African Americans, all right, and when it drop all the way to the 2000s, it's like, what, damn, what am I now, okay, all right, we, uh, we've been beat down and called all these different type of names, all right, now we're, we're in the year 2018, man, okay, the year of prophecy, all right, because all these prophecies that are starting to come to pass, people are starting to really see these things. But uh, who are you now? Okay. All right, because you you have to be out your damn mind and to be calling yourself anything outside of Israelite man in 2018, or or the Lord just got you blind. So I'm gonna start with this scripture. Uh, this is the book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six. It says, "My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee." And thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of Yahweh. I will also forget thy children. Okay, so even before the 1600s, what, we, we went off from our power. All right, and the Lord stripped us from our heritage, man. All these things was, um, uh, um, uh, were a judgment and a curse from the Most High. Okay, so what the Lord said, his people are destroyed. All right, for a lack of knowledge. Yeah. Our people don't, they don't, we don't, they, they don't know who they are. They call themselves niggas, blacks, African Americans. Those are all by words given to you from the so called white man in these other nations. Okay? Alright, because what? Our people reject knowledge. Okay? They, 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 they reject the most high. And look, they, they, they're out there lost, man. They don't know what the hell is going on. Okay? It's 2018. They're still calling themselves blacks and niggas. All right, when uh you got men of the Lord out there preaching this truth, week in and week out, telling you who you what your true nationality is. Okay. All right, and the Lord used the so-called white man to put that whooping stick down to take away our heritage, to take away our name, man. All right, which the so-called white man he's gonna get paid back for that. So let me get something in Psalms, real quick. Before the more prove that, yeah, the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter, Psalms chapter eighty-three, verse four, it says, "So let them start at um three. It says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel." Be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. All right, talking about the so-called white man. All right, that's what he did. He had crafty counsel. How can we destroy these niggas? 
how can we get them um, not to believe that they're the true Hebrew Israelites, that they're God's chosen people? All right, pursuant to um, uh, the book of Deuteronomy. All right, so yeah, they're confederate against thee. All right, they, they sat down and, okay, well, we, we're going to push out uh, hip hop, push out um, um, homosexuality. All right, let's destroy them. All right, that the name of Israel, okay, be no more remembrance. Okay, now and now our people are calling themselves all these different bywords, man. All right, now these heathens are calling us bywords, man. When well, we're the true chosen people of the Most High, man, we're Israelites. All right, so um, let's prove that in Deuteronomy. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty-seven. Yeah, Con thirty-seven. It says, um, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. And that's what we're called. We're uh, bywords, man. To be called a, a nigga, that's a byword, man. That's something outside your true nationality, man. African American, when um the term Africa and America come from two so called white men. Alright. To be called black, alright, when black is just a color. All right, knowing we're different shades of brown, but they call us black anyway, which black just mean darkness. Okay. All right, so you have to you have to wake up and think, damn, who am I today? All right, the Lord co calls you his, calls you uh his elect, man. No, nah, I'm not gonna say elect of uh, his, his uh, chosen. Okay. So all these are five words, man. All right. All right, it's 2018, man. For you be calling anything outside of a Jew or Israelite, man, you just you just bug the hell out, man. Okay. All right, chill out there. Let me jump something real quick, Lord. What enough to get this? Uh. Yeah, con, con, con. I'm gonna just jump to the next scripture because the Lord did say our people was gonna start waking up and standing up on our feet. All right, and that's what you're seeing today. You're seeing more and more brothers go to the highways and byways and teach this truth. You're seeing more one, uh, more and more people, on social media, sharing the um, who they are. All right, they're waking up. All right, because <clears throat> they what slavery, man. All right, being under these different um captivities, it destroyed us. All right, let's jump to the book of Revelation. All right, Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. It says, um, and after three days and a half, okay, three days and a half represent what? Represent slavery. All right, we was in slavery, what, to 350, 350 years. All right, all right, going on 400 now, but all right, after three days and a half, 350 years, the spirit of life, all right, the spirit of life, meaning uh, this truth, okay, this, uh, yeah, uh, of Yahweh entered into them, and they stood up on their feet, and that's what you're seeing now, all right, so after 350 years, hey, well, we're standing up on our feet again, all right, we're remembering who we are, it says, a great fear fell upon them that saw them, yeah, come, and that was, yeah, let's sit on that. All right. So after 350 years, what? Uh, the Most High is waking his people up. Okay. And ultimately, he's waking up his elect because you're going to have an elect. Okay. Just because you uh, wake up to the truth and wake up to you being a Hebrew Israelite don't exactly mean you're going to make it out of this, man. That's why you're supposed to pray. Lord, keep that spirit on you. Pray that you're part of your elect. Pray that a hey, other sincere brothers are part of your elect. All right. But yeah. Uh, the, the Most High is going to start waking his people up. All right, you can also read about that book of Baruch. All right, let me uh, jump to the Apocrypha. Jump to the book of Baruch. Um, chapter 2, verse 30. Okay. Baruch 2 and 30, it says, um, <clears throat> For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. All right. Yeah, people are stiff-necked. You go out and teach them the truth. They don't want to hear. 
You tell them they're Israelites. You tell them they're God's chosen. They're the greatest people on earth. And they don't want to hear it. So it says, For I know they will not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, all right, the land of their captivity, which America, all right, Babylon the Great, is the land of our captivity. All right, you can read about that if you jump down to 3 and 8. So it says, um, But in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves okay it says in the land of their captivity they shall remember themselves all right and that's what we uh, our people are doing all right we're waking up we're remembering who we are all right and that's israelites all right you blacks you hispanics you native american indians all right we're waking up to oh okay we are the we are we are the lord's people we fit these curses all right that's us you read about in the um Book of Deuteronomy about the slave, the, the cargo slave ships and yokes of iron upon our neck. All right, it, it, everything in the scripture is just clear as day. Okay, so you people who uh, you, there's a lot of people they claim they don't believe, but they know this the truth. All right, you you people are you just you just proud man. You don't want to accept the truth, but you know it's the truth. Okay, I'm gonna jump to 32 and it says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. All right, the Lord said we're going to praise him. We're, we're remembering the name. All right, we went, uh, what, I believe 400 years without a prophet, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And it says, and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers would sin before the Lord. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, hey, we, more and more people are going to start waking up. Hey, you know, keeping the law. All right, they're going to start repenting. <coughs> okay? <coughs> Before America be destroyed. Okay? But th this is our true nationality, man. Okay? You can read about it all in the scriptures. It's just clear as day. All right? You have to also search the scripture out for yourself. Okay? You can't just take man's word for it. Okay? The scriptures say, Blessed is he that readeth. The scriptures also say, um, <clears throat> seek the Lord. The Lord said he come in the volume of the book. All right. So don't just take men for it. Don't don't take men's word for it. Yeah, we out there teaching you. But hey, go go search these things for yourself. All right. Hey, things might click with you. Okay. So, yeah, that was the whole point of this lesson, man. All right. Just to bring out a, a we're not just niggas. Uh, uh, um. Blacks, African Americans, man. Those are all bywords. All right, that was a curse. All right, these nations call us. Uh, um, and the Lord said, "What? You can't. Um, wherever you 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 are scattered, you're going to be called um different um names. Okay, they got names for you in Africa. They call you different shit. China, they calling you different shit. America, they calling you niggas, cockroaches, and bullshit. But we're the greatest. We're the, we're the greatest nation, man." The Lord put us above all nations. Okay? So, hey, yeah, Lord willing, this lesson was uh, edifying. Okay, into the body. All right? <clears throat> so, um, call Allah, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. All right, till next time, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.